Let's go. Hey guys, how 1999 here. Hope you like the new intro, but uh here is how you create a RAM disk on Mac. So the first thing you will do is you're going to go you're going to go into your uh internet browser. Mine is Google Chrome because yeah. Then you're going to search TMP disk for Mac. Oops, I didn't mean to open up another window, but uh, whatever. And then you're gonna go to this one here. It's the second result down. And then you're gonna you're gonna to click on download. And I already downloaded this, so yeah. And then once you do that, you open it up and. Uh, uh, you drag it into your folder thing here. I'm just going to rearrange this by name so I can easily find it. Okay, so right there it is. And you just double click it. And just uh, click check automatically if you get that option, which you probably won't on the first time. New temp disk, and then you will name it. So I'm just going to name it video. And then I'm going to change mine to... Uh, I'm just going to go all out on here. I have 8 gigs of RAM in here, so whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just, uh, type in. Let's put in two gigs or mm, nah, let's put in three gigs. Wait, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I think it's that. Okay, and then I will do that, and I'll just click create temp disk. And then uh, once you do that, you will you can just go into Finder, and you will see it right here. The advantages of having one of these temp disks is that uh, they're very, 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 very fast. Here, I'll give you a little demo of how fast it is. Uh, let me go into my applications folder. Okay, so um, I'll just take these four files right here. I'm just going to check the size just to make sure. Uh, 43. Okay, these, sh these should be good. I should be able to fit these on my disk onto it because it was the... Uh, three gigs so I shouldn't have to really worry about that so this is quite a bit of files right here there's four of them and they're big size files so I'm gonna drag it on here and see how long it takes okay let's do this so it says preparing and these things keep in mind these things are extremely fast uh... you know I'm just copying a lot of files like a oh, oh okay okay there wasn't enough space Darn. Okay, so I'll pick, uh, I'll just pick, uh, let's pick these four right here, and I'll just drag these on here. And that's, uh, right there, that's putting it on, and here's taking it off. That's it. That's it right there. That's how fast this thing is. This thing is very, very fast. Let's move those into the trash thing. Okay, uh, here I'll get, I'll take, uh, I'll take these, like this. I'll take all of these, and I'll drag them onto here. Hopefully I have enough room. I don't know if I will. Right there, that's how much it is. 943.6 megabytes. Less than a minute remaining for that much space. And I will also, if you guys want to, I will actually test it out and show you how long this right here, all this will copy. I'll show you guys how long it will take for my, uh, not my hard drive, my uh, flash drive, my uh, 4 gigabyte flash drive. I'll show you guys a comparison of that, so I'm going to go grab that, so I'm just going to pause the video here. Okay, so I've got it right here, it's called No Name, it's actually an 8 gigabyte one. But, uh, yeah, I have it plugged right into my computer, and here. So these are the same amount of files, and, uh, this is very slow. Like, it's still estimating the amount of time remaining. Look at that, right there. 12, 13, 15. That just shows how fast these things actually are. You know, compared to, like, around 30 seconds or so. So I'm just going to cancel that, so we don't have to uh, wait for that whole thing. And uh, just so you guys see this again, 
I will drag the same files right back onto here. And look at that. It's already almost done. Not really. It's already like a quarter of the way done. It's like halfway done. And look at that. You gotta see that difference there. So I do recommend this. However, if you have a computer, uh, they they do have similar programs for the PC. You can also do it for a PC. But if you have under four gigs of RAM in your computer, I will not recommend that you guys do this because uh, your computer will run very slow if you keep it like that. And if you're on a Mac and your Mac has a uh, Intel integrated graphics card like mine does, you know, like if you if you have like a MacBook, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, you know, all that stuff, if you have one of those, then you. Uh, and you have under eight, uh, four gigs of RAM inside of it, then uh, I don't recommend doing this because I don't think it'll allow you to. It might, but your computer will run very, very slow if you do it. Most likely, it depends on how big of a partition you make it. But uh, yeah, in order to get rid of it, I will just uh, make another one. Sorry about that. I deleted it. Yeah, just create it. Oh. I have to make a name. Uh, it won't let me type my. Oh, I unplugged my keyboard. No. Uh. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a 16 gig by one and just a quick show you how to get rid of it. So right there it is. You know, you just go into your finder and then you just click eject and that's it. And then to close the program completely, you just click on that and then quit and that's it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.